Every now and then, you will come across the perfect storm, and we are in that this week. We have a massive week coming up. We'll be on the road for five days. We've got five flights. We've got four really big projects that we're doing. We're also gonna take three very impressive drones, so come along for the ride. Let's do it. back. Good morning. So I'm going to take you through the whole project. Well actually I'll take you through today's operation or objective. We are about to get on a flight to Sydney. Once we get to Sydney um, the most important thing is we need to get access to keys. We still don't have keys confirmation which we're a bit worried about but I think uh, our nickel will come through with the okay. goods I'm sure. <laughs> we'll jump in the car and we're heading up to Newcastle. We've got three sites there. So this is Telco line of sight and um, tower inspections. Then we're gonna make the drive back from Newcastle down to Sydney, drop the hire car off, get to our accommodation. And we're staying the night in Sydney, the airport, one of the airport hotels there. Then we have another flight the next morning at 6 a.m. to Brisbane. So that's, that's our plan at the moment. The only challenges today or our blockers is that key. Can't do anything without that kick. Um, we're also, I don't know why, but we ended up booking these flights during school holidays, so the airports are packed. Well, it was urgent work, so. <laughs> Let's see how we go. Okay, so a bit of an update. Uh, we were delayed by about 20 minutes in the air, uh, just because of the school rush, um, and also an extra 20 minutes on the ground here picking up the car. So we're a little bit delayed. We thought we would have extra time up our sleeve so we can go over the mission. So we can obviously have to do that on the drive up. A couple of other things we need to still uh, get confirmation of the key so we can get on these sites. Um, and also, weather's coming in hot. We saw it as we were landing, so we might encounter a bit of rain, a bit of foggy roads. So, quick update. One of the issues that we had has just been resolved. We just got word that the key that we requested has been approved. We are rerouting now to pick up the key. We got it. We got it. That's the key we've been waiting for. <laughs> okay. Why are keys so hard to get? They're hard to get because they give it to other contractors. This key opens up a lot of different areas, a lot of different huts, buildings. If we lose it, we can be in for a pretty big fine. And when do you need to give it back? Uh, it's booked for all day today, so anytime, they're open 24 hours. And what happens if it goes past today? They'll call us and say, where's the key, I guess. That depends on if it's booked for someone else. If it isn't, there probably won't be fussed. And if you lose the key? If we lose the key, it depends on how much places this opens. If it's a master key, they have to replace locks on a lot of buildings. And what does that mean for us? Big fines, companies, bankrupt. <laughs> We're all fired. We're all fired. We're all fired. Aaron, I am giving it to you, it's on video. I'm gonna put this around my neck and I have one of those Samsung tags. I'm gonna put that with the tag and around my neck. We are about an hour away, an hour and a half. First, we need to get some gaffer tape because somebody forgot it. And we need gaffer tape to strap onto the beacon. Right now, my priority is to get us a car for Rockhampton tomorrow night. Because we need to drive two hours to get to a mine site. Can't be taxiing that. All right, no worries, uh, keep going. Thanks, mate. Do you have any cars by any chance? <laughs> I'm calling everyone. Oh, no. All right, no worries, thank you. Stay back, mate. Holy shit. Um, oh, you know, nothing till Thursday afternoon, sorry. Oh, no. It's not looking good. I've tried Hertz, I've tried Sixth, I've tried Thrifty. They're all sold out. Hey, how you going? I know it has. Been well? Hey, are you still in your boot at Rocket? Oh, amazing. We're in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> I've just been called into Rockhampton for this urgent telco job. Do you have a spare car? Or do you have a car that you're not using? Or any buddy of yours? Like, 
five hours later. So you said, hi, I've had a think. You can use my car and I can use my sister's car. That's amazing. You are a lifesaver. Now we need to see if we can find some gap tape. We got gaffer tape. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what else we need to do. Well, we just need the weather. We need the weather to clear up. We'll found it there. He wants the induction forms completed by close of business today. And it's two o'clock. We're on the road all day. We'll probably be back to the hotel by 7 pm. I guess. What have you got on for the next couple of hours and a half? <laughs> Continue your induction for you. Yeah. <laughs> got the gaffer tape on this very high powered torch. This is just a clip by PGY Tech and that goes on top like that. So when you're flying at full beam, the throw is very bright. You just need to make sure that you're in the right bearing, shooting in that exact direction for the other, the other tower. That's it. It's, it's straight on the bearing. That's, that's what I'm seeing. You hold that. I'll just check the drawings real quick. The drawings are the design drawings from the engineers, which tells us all about the tower, the height, the size, what's on it. My bearing is 84 degrees. That's what we're looking at. Yeah, that looks right. Let's shoot this. We'll, we'll know when we get there. Yeah, and then we'll all shoot right. back the other way. So because we're racing, it's time. Usually we'd go to the other end and have the confirmation. Our confirmation is looking on the drawings to make sure it matches what we're seeing. It's only 10 Ks. So the image of the tower comes out pretty clear. If it's something like 40 or 50 Ks really far, and it'll come out a bit blurry. That's when you need the spotlight at the other end to confirm that that's the exact tower we're looking at. So now in terms of the process, we've identified, well, 90% sure that that's the tower. Now he's conducting the line of sight survey. Get there, hopefully we get there in one piece. Google Maps is telling us to go the other way, but we found on, on the satellite view there's this shortcut. So we're gonna take it. <laughs> so when we get there, you do drone, try and find the thing first with the remaining on, remainder on your battery, and then I'll go straight into SDVs, I think. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boy. All right, so the guys are now at the first B end, and because I had a bit of rain here, they've sort of just decided to proceed with the SDVs and see if they can see me without needing me to put the beacon up. So I'm just waiting to get a phone call from them to see if we still need to put up the Mavic with the light on it, um, or if I can just continue with the STV. So we shall see, hopefully the weather holds. You remember those little three things? Yeah, there was definitely yeah. Just little clusters yeah. on that side. Yep, that. Or that north side. They're smaller. Yep. Yeah, we'll just shoot it. No worries. Okay, so you can see me pretty easily. Cool. Yep, just let me know when you're ready. All right, so that was Nick. Um, they could see me quite easily, so no need to put the beacon up, but uh, we'll, they're gonna head to the other site now. That's even shorter, so I really don't think that we'll need the beacon up for this one, because the, uh, the links are so small. So I'll just continue with the STVs uh, until they get back here. Okay, job done. 
Now we're gonna get out of here in time before the mine site closes. Okay, now, from the beginning. Okay, so we had to rush through that um, because, well, was a bit pressed with time in the mine site. The guy at the gate said he was um, going to close up at 3.30 and it's already uh, 3.40 so we're a bit late um, but lucky he let us through so that'll be fine. Let's do it. Right. Oh, now we go to the other B end. Good shit. Good shit. Well guys, as usual, change of plans, got to roll with it, but they're good plans. Uh, the guys are just coming to pick me up as they go to the next B end because it's only a three kilometer link. We should be able to see that easy peasy. So instead of having to double back on the way through, they're going to pick me up and then that means that we can get out of here a lot quicker and back to the city. Uh, right again, come in. We're uh, heading back to you now, two minutes away. Uh, Get your stuff ready to go, jump in the car, we're gonna head to the BN. See you in two. Copy that drift pig. Running gun out. KFC guys? Oh my god, the smell. <laughs> Oh my god, that's... <laughs> come on, come on, get the drink, come on, we're losing your life. So, a very successful day. Congratulations, everybody. Round of applause. <laughs> we, we hit all the bands. We got them all. All success, all passes. Uh, we even got into the STVs and got all those captured nice and quick. We're out of there by, what's the time now? We're finished by about 4.30. So now we're on the road back to Sydney. Uh, it's a two hour ride ahead of us. We have to drop the keys back. Then we're gonna grab a quick bite to eat, check into the hotel, wrangle some footage, and also we've got another problem. We don't have a car for tomorrow. So tomorrow we're in Brisbane and they're all uh, rented out. So we're gonna try an app called Car Next Door. Worst case, one of us needs to jump in a taxi to get to that car and then grab it, come back, pick everyone else up. But all, it was a good day. At least we don't have to come back or stay an extra night because we managed to capture all the sides. That's it. See you in the next update.